Hello, Isabella. How are you? Why are you so late in class today? Oh, it was a painful experience as I got stuck in traffic jam. That's really sad. Traffic jam has become a serious problem nowadays for the people of this city. Oh, yes. I am also bothered with the traffic jam in this city. It is killing our valuable time cruelly. Still, nobody knows when we will get released from this nuisance. Exactly. Nobody comes forward to solve the problem. The main cause for this traffic jam is the plying of huge numbers of cars. Yes, during office hours, we find hundreds of cars and buses blocking the roads. It is mainly caused when different vehicles want to move ahead, overtaking each other. Right. Huge number of cars and buses in the narrow roads are contributing much to this problem. There are some other causes also. Yes, there are too many cars in proportion to our roads, and roads are not so wide as they should be. Mismanagement is also a big factor for this problem. You are right. The unfavorable street conditions and violation of the traffic rules are contributing much to traffic jam in this city. You are correct. But how can we get rid of this curse in this city? I believe this problem can be solved by proper management of the whole traffic system. Illegal and unlicensed cars, buses, and rickshaws should be taken off. Exactly. Besides, the streets should be widened, flyovers at the main crossings should be made, the drivers should be properly trained. And sufficient traffic police should be employed to control the traffic. That's right. The authority should come forward with all these measures to solve traffic jam. Thank you very much for your valuable suggestions. Goodbye. You are most welcome. Bye and see you again. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he? She? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my cousin's. Who went with you? I went with one of my best friend. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in at the Park Lane Hotel, New York. What did people do in the wedding? The wedding party helps the couple with various wedding planning tasks such as addressing invitations, running errands, craft projects, burying the bourbon, groom's cake, seer sucker suits, cake pulls, and second line wedding parades and more. The couple may seek advice from their wedding party in order to help make important wedding decisions. What did the bride and groom wears? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Want to keep evil spirits far away from your marriage? Balance lavish flatbread on your shoulders. That's what newly married Armenian men and women do. According to the custom, when the bride and groom enter their wedding reception, typically at the groom's house, they break a plate for good luck then are given lavish and honey by the groom's mother. They balance the bread on their shoulders to ward off evil and eat spoonfuls of honey to symbolize happiness, and then the party really starts, I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, this definitely deserves recognition as one of the best days of a person's life. It's an incredible moment that many women and men refer to as second to none. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 28 and for men is 30. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 25 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How has wedding changed recently? The most noticeable change is technology enter in a wedding. There a bride recently placed a GoPro camera in her bouquet and live streamed the entire ceremony. 
we're seeing more and more drones used by photographers and videographers. Video or projection mapping is getting introduced to the world of weddings, and I even heard about a 3D printed suit for a groom.